I'm willing to bet that of all the TED Talks you see today, you will remember mine the most. <laughs> Not because I'm a better speaker, others will be more polished than me. Not because I have a more interesting topic, some of you are probably curing cancer. Or because I'm adorable, although that last one is true. <laughs> no, you'll remember my talk because by the end of it, you'll become an active participant in a story with me. By moving from a passive observer to an active participant, you'll take ownership of that story, and it elevates both of our experiences. But before we get to that, and before anyone in the front row tries to bolt because they don't want me to call on them, don't worry, I'm not going to, I have a story of my own to tell. About two years ago, I went to a public speaking conference. This was my first professional development conference I'd ever been to. I'd actually won a scholarship to go because one, I was actually broke, and two, I'd been in theater my entire life, and that seems like a pretty natural fit for a public speaker. So I show up to this conference all bright-eyed and bushy-faced, ready to be the best darn public speaker I can be, and we get started with a bunch of theater games I've been playing my entire life. The first game that we play is called One Word Storyteller. Now, if you're not familiar with that game, the way that it works is you tell a story one word at a time, one person at a time, in a big circle, basically like once upon a time there. You get the idea. Now, as someone who's been in theater most of my life and teaching for most of that time for mostly children, One Word Storyteller is the game that I bust out when I think to myself, ugh, these kids are not going to be great at this. <laughs> It's a uh, pretty basic level game because all you have to do is come up with one word. So we start playing this game with a room full of 250 business professionals and it is just awful. <laughs> it is offensive to my artistic sensibilities. <laughs> We've got ourselves a one word storytelling shout fest on our hands. Once upon a time, fork, noodles, pee, pee's a funny word, ha! So the facilitator corrals us all back and he's like, okay guys, <laughs> it has to make sense. It can't just be any word, you have to actually tell a story. So you don't have to know where it's going, but you do have to know where it's been. So listen to what they're saying and then figure it out. All right, so let's, let's give it another shot. Susan? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't quite understand what we're, blender, kitty cats, ah! <laughs> this goes on for the entire game and I am just mortified and super judgy that my last kindergarten improv class is more advanced than this group of adults. <laughs> so we break up that circle of non sequitur and go to sit down, and the facilitator turns to us and he says, without a trace of judgment in his face, which Lord love him for, he turns to the group and says, how did that make you feel? <laughs> and from the back of the room, a hand shoots up earnestly and a woman shouts out, I just feel alive for the first time in seven years, Dan. What? <laughs> Were we in the same room? Did we play the same game? I don't know. Thus begins my corporate facilitation career. <laughs> now, from a less judgmental place, the thing that I end up taking from this interaction is that by engaging in the storytelling process, even for just one word, this woman's whole life was changed. But why should you care about a woman playing an improv game poorly at a conference? Well, creativity scales, and you can increase your retention, deepen your connections, and broaden your impact by taking a cue from her and creating something, anything new. So let's break that story down into the three main bullet points. Critic, creator, and connection. And look, they all start with the same letter. It's so easy to remember, like I did it on purpose for you. <laughs> I was a ruthless critic for this activity, and critics, by and large, do not get a very good rap. There's a really popular quote going around right now of Teddy Roosevelt's that says, it's not the critic who counts, but the man in the arena, dot, dot, dot. It's been popularized by Brene Brown, shame researcher and TED speaker, and Brene, if you ever hear this, I love you. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> so uh, I'm too busy critiquing this activity to really pull anything out of it other than my own experience, which was too bad because I actually missed out on quite a lot. Now, the woman who was ready to create, she was so fired up to be a creator for something, even something relatively small and objectively not of the highest quality. 
that she felt alive for the first time in seven years. She moved from a passive observer to an active participant, and it's in that transition that she became a creator, a storyteller, and an artist. She felt alive because she made something new and brought it into the world. Storytelling connects us. You can watch other TED Talks that talk about the neurological support that we are designed for storytelling. So if we are, in fact, designed for storytelling, it stands true that we probably like people who tell stories. I spoke with a colleague of mine who had been a part of the one-word story slaughter, and she told me that it was her experience that, yes, this is not going very well, and the energy in the room is amazing. These people are stretching so far outside of their comfort zone, and it's just lighting them up that they can feel alive for the first time in seven years. So, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to give you guys a chance to create something with me. Now, we're not going to play one-word storyteller. That would take too long. But we're going to play quarter of the room storyteller. <laughs> so I'm going to divide you guys up into quadrants, just like the city you're in right now, DC statehood. Pew, pew, pew. Just my little plug. <laughs> little plug. Thanks. Yeah. Get it going. We should do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you guys are going to give me the first four words of any good story, which is once upon a time, if you can't figure it out, all right? So if you'll indulge me when I point to you, just shout it out and get us started, because we've got something a little extra for you. So. One, two, there was a story created, birthed, told by us, by you, to teach, to heal, to connect, to wake us up, to make us laugh, to make us cry, to turn us on, to scare us, to, to turn, turn us on, and scare us, to confront, or distract, to entertain, or engage. A story was told. A story. A story. A story. And tonight, if you'll join us at the after party, you'll have an opportunity to tell your own. Come become part of the story with us in tonight's one night only TEDx Mid-Atlantic Theatrical Immersive. Come eat, drink, and explore with us and ask yourself, what story will you tell? Break a leg. Mm -hmm.